Hey, today we're at the Royal Gorge. I'm on the Royal Gorge Bridge for the very first time. This is in Colorado. If I'm gonna cross this Royal Gorge Bridge, what better way than on a tractor? Let's get started. We visited the Royal Gorge many, many years ago, but it's dramatically different today. We understand there was a fire that destroyed almost everything. Now, not the bridge, but we understand that all of the uh, entrances and, uh, and the buildings uh, over on, on that side, at least, were destroyed. So it's dramatically different. Now, of course, the gorge itself looks very similar, but the view here is phenomenal. They chose the 4M HD, the 4052M HD for, for use pulling uh, this wagon. Now, I think they have another wagon like it. Seems like a tremendous choice for what they're doing. It, it's nice to have a heavy tractor so that they can stop the wagon. They don't have any risk of, uh, of that. Obviously, it's not a, a real strenuous use on the tractor, uh, but it is nice to have the extra weight. I would be nervous with much smaller tractor with these hills like this, pulling a full load of, of people. So I think they, they chose a, a good machine here. Another machine they potentially could have chosen for only this task would have been the 5E two-wheel drive. Would have been, uh, you know, about the same weight. Um, but I think they're using this tractor for some other tasks. Overall, this is probably the right choice. Elevation here is, well, it ranges between 6,300 and 7,000 feet. If you watch some of our earlier Colorado videos from the spring, we talked about how you need a turbocharger for these higher elevations. Well, the 4066 has one and it performs very well up here. We don't, we don't really notice any issues. I'm in the B range right now. This is sort of a test. They run in A range all the time which makes good sense. Well, we're going up a pretty steep hill here and I just wanted to see how it would handle this wagon. 4052M HD. That's what we're operating. I may have said the wrong size a minute ago. Cody, it's appropriate that we're in front of the playland because for me, anything with a tractor is, well, play. What's your title? Uh, the title is Vice President of Operations. Vice President Jetson. <laughs> He's too young to even know the Jets. Oh, well, you take care of this place. Pretty much, yeah. I oversee the operations department, which handles all the rides and attractions we have in, here in the park. Uh, I also oversee the maintenance crew, park safety, our rangers, and the water plant. Now, one of the items you deal with is this tractor. Yes, sir. How long have you had it? We've just had this one a few months. We okay. renewed our lease uh, this May. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit, I, I realize you haven't been here too long, but a little bit about the history of the shuttles here. We had an old trolley system uh, before the fire. Okay. Unfortunately, it was destroyed. We t tried out a couple other options, uh, but they really just couldn't handle the terrain or the uh, little bit of rattling going across the bridge. Okay, so you think it was the rattling of the bridge? Do you think it was the hills? What, what, what was really the biggest challenge for some of these other attempts? It's really a combination of the two. I think we found our correct choice here with the tractor. It really yeah, it, holds it, up well and gets the job done. It does seem, it seems like the right size. It seems big enough to be safe, small enough to still be maneuverable. Do you use the tractor for anything else? We do. Uh, we have a bucket for the front and we do some snow removal in the winter and uh, we do some road grading with the box blade. Do you have Four Rivers do your maintenance or do you do the maintenance yourself? The oil changes, the lubrication, that type of thing? We do the routine maintenance ourselves. Have you had any trouble with the tractor? Uh, we really haven't. Who drives it? Uh, our operations department trains several drivers. We okay. have people rotate in and out. How fast can we go? Speed limits, three and a half in the park. Three and a half? Yes, sir. Oh my goodness. Nice and slow, it's a leisurely ride. Now the bridge actually seems a little bit rougher, so we might even... We do slow down a little bit on the bridge. It's interesting. Now, you, you got to ride today, Was did I treat you rough? No, you did great. I'm glad to hear that. Anything else that would be interesting to talk about from an operations standpoint of the park? 
Uh, well, we have four stops that this uh, shuttle takes guests around. Um, they enter the park at the visitor's center. We pick people up there, so as soon as you're coming into the park, you can hop on the shuttle. Uh, we do have some steep hills around here. It can be a little bit too much of a hike for some people. Uh, so you can hop on right there at the visitor center, ride all the way across the bridge. We have another stop at the theater. Uh, here at the Playland, which has the carousel, sluice box, and an arcade shooting gallery. Yeah. Uh, and then we go loop around over here by the Sky Coaster and Via Ferrata building. Okay. And if you want to ride the gondola or the zip line from this side, just a short hike up from those stops. Can you ride the train? Is that included in your ticket, or do you have to yes, pay sir. extra to ride the train? No, this is included in admission. Okay. Well, that works out well. Do most people use it? It's pretty popular, especially in the summer. It's pleasant. I, it it's definitely was pleasant coming across the bridge this way. So so one thing I've, I've noticed the, with, with these hills and all, do you have any trouble stopping the wagon going down the hills? We do have trailer brakes set up um, as an extra safety. Uh, when we get a fully loaded trailer going downhill, sometimes those trailer brakes come in handy. Okay, so you just wired that separately. You're not using really anything built into the tractor. They're, they're wired up just like a, a typical car electric trailer brake. Yes, sir. Okay, you have them on both the front and the rear or just the rear trailer? Uh, rear just of the, the wagon? rear. Okay, because mm -hmm. this is a wagon. It's not a trailer like we, we would say. It's, it's a, a four-wheeled wagon, a steerable front axle, and uh, that, that allows it to follow the tractor a lot closer than a trailer would for, for something like this. I'm gonna try the brakes. Hold on. Really do stop Sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it's certainly not the craziest tractor usage you've ever seen, but it is somewhat unique. Just being able to be in a, in a park like this is uh, it's a it's a fascinating use of a tractor. I'm gonna try those brakes again. Ah, uh, no, this let not the hydro works. Yeah. So I didn't even have to use the brakes. I can't imagine a more pleasant job as a tractor driver. I'm sure the weather is not always as perfect as it is today. This is incredibly pleasant. I'd really like to thank the folks at Four Rivers Equipment here in uh, Colorado for giving us the opportunity to see some stuff like this and giving us the opportunity to share sum up with you it's it's just a fascinating situation something we thought maybe might be a, a, a little bit of a change from our, our normal our normal content they've got a nice large mirror here on the canopy and this allows a, just a, a, a great view of all the passengers in this case I only have two passengers the park's not open yet that allows us to kind of have it to ourselves, be able to uh, do whatever we want with the tractor. Within reason, of course, I am obeying that 3.5 mile per hour speed limit. You're right, that's a little bit difficult for me. Oh well, what, what, what can one do? Sometimes you have to play by the rules. Gail, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk with us today. Did, tell me a little about Royal Gorge. People started flocking here uh, in the early to mid 1920s just to picnic on the rim of the gorge because word got out about how beautiful it is. This nice bridge, it didn't just spring up out of the picnickers, yes. right? Uh, well, actually, a Texas millionaire approached the city of Canyon City and said, hey, uh -huh. I can build a bridge across this gorge. I've got the right guy. And so uh, he put in the proposal, they approved it. And in seven months, he hired a crew and he built the highest suspension bridge in the world at that time. And how high is it? It's 956 feet above the Arkansas River. Now, is that still some sort of record? Well, it's the highest suspension bridge in America now. There have uh, maybe a dozen or so in the world that are a little bit higher now. How did they get the bridge started across the across Well, they lowered, they lowered a cable from each side of the gorge okay. down to the river and spliced them together, okay. pulled it up, and then they used that as the guide wire to add the rest Essentially of the Essentially push and pull across. everything yeah, out there yeah. as they needed it. It's okay. pretty amazing. And when was this built? 1929. 1929. Mm -hmm. Now, I noticed a lot of wind out there. 
-hmm. So have you had any trouble with the bridge, like swinging or anything? Uh, suspension bridges, we've seen, like Tacoma Narrows Bridge, that was the one we saw fall down mm -hmm. in engineering class. Yeah. Have you had any issues like that? Well, of course, it's important for a suspension bridge to move because the movement is what kind of keeps it stable. Um, it used to swing a lot more in the 1980s. They put in some reinforcements to keep, oh, okay. it, keep it from swaying this way. But on a real windy day, you can still get a little bit of this going on. And I assume it's pretty standard to see wind coming up out of the out of the gorge oh yes wind is wind is a constant here yes now how many people cross that bridge on a, a given day or a given year well we get about 350,000 visitors a year our peak season goes from May 1st until September 30th more most of our activities are on the south south rim the only thing on the north rim is our visitor center this is a, a, a private company that that runs the park right yes yeah uh, the, the company that runs it is private the park is actually owned by the city of canyon city canyon city it's c-a-n-o-n -N, but mm -hmm. it's got that little tilde or like something. pina colada okay so <laughs> canyon city actually right. owns it and it's about 10 miles mm -hmm. to the east of here yeah. and there's a train that goes through the gorge yeah. um, and they they own the the entire park here it's all wooden planks across the bridge how mm -hmm. many are there 1,257, and I've counted them personally. You've counted them personally. <laughs> it's kind of dizzy when you're looking down going two, four, oh, six. How thick are they? <laughs> yeah. They're, how thick? Yeah. They're three inches. Okay. Yeah, they're 18 feet wide and three inches thick. Is there a load capacity for the entire bridge or anything that's... Uh, it can hold in excess of two million pounds. Okay. 500 elephants. Yeah. So there's no risk of getting too many people on it at no, any one no. time. No, and we actually have car clubs that come and uh, can drive across the bridge as well. It actually used to be open for the public to drive vehicular across. Vehicular traffic. Sure, yeah. I mean, and we had vehicular traffic going in both directions Oh way my back goodness, when. two yeah. ways. Yeah. It's pretty narrow for two lanes. It is. So the gorge is obviously the main attraction. What, what else do you have here as far as attractions, interest for folks? Right. Well, our admission ticket includes the aerial gondola ride across. Okay. So you can start on at the visitor center and ride the aerial gondola cars to the other side. Okay, I think and, I could do that. Yeah, and our gondola is the longest single span gondola in America. Oh, really? It is, yeah. It's interesting, it doesn't look that far. Mm -mm. Okay, what else? We have uh, the world's scariest sky coaster. Yeah. Not so much for you? I don't think so. So <laughs> is, is, is this the big swing that goes out? That is the big swing. It's a bungee type swing. It pulls you up 100 feet. You pull a ripcord and you drop and you swing out over the gorge and back. Have you done that? I have. The first time I did it was live television. <laughs> was it the first and the last all in one? I've ridden it twice. Um, I don't volunteer. I don't shoot my hand up when somebody says who wants to ride the sky coaster. But I will ride the zip line every day if you ask me. Okay, so there's a zip line too. Now, where does it yes. go? Yes, the zip line originates on the uh, south rim and you zip line back to the visitor center. So you're in a canvas chair, you're sitting down, and it's gravity essentially that just pulls you. They open a gate, gravity pulls you across where you land by hitting a series of springs. It's the highest zip line in America. And a few years ago, the Travel Channel called it the number one bucket list item in Colorado. I think I could do that. Yes. The Sky Coaster, I don't it's, think that's for me. It's a little scary. Thanks a lot for, for showing us around and, yeah. and allowing us to visit today. Well, thank you, and thanks for uh, taking care of our tractor on the bridge. It was <laughs> fun you. riding with you. Hey, I just want to thank all of you for helping us to surpass 200,000 subscribers. I'll be honest, we never dreamed of seeing more than 10,000 subscribers. Even that number seemed huge. We never dreamed that we would have opportunities like this one here at the Royal Gorge. And while this episode's not chock full of technical tractor information, I hope you don't mind the change of pace. I may be getting a little bit too personal here, but I feel like a kid in a candy store. You know, it's because of viewers like you, the support you've given us over the years. I just can't tell you how much we appreciate it. So even when we're on a, a vacation like this, we can still get to participate in, well, one of the most fun things I've ever done, and that's uh, to be able to share our experience with you. Pretty special. I don't know what else to say. I'm speechless for the first time in my life. You know, you could have a lot worse jobs. The, the, the office view is pretty nice right here, I, I must admit. There could be a lot worse jobs than this. Hey, this is the real deal. I'm actually hauling employees to their destination.
Well, this is my last trip across the bridge. I took the employees over and now I'm back. Maybe not the most exciting episode for you, but one of the most fun episodes for me. No question. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. The Lord has done this, and it is marvelous in our eyes.